Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Revelation chapter 3, and I'm going to be beginning with verse 1 from the New American Bible. It says, To the angel, or I like to translate it messenger, meaning the congregational leader, to the congregational leader of the church, or the congregation in Sardis, write this. The one who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your works, that you have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. You have a reputation of being alive, but are dead. I thought of all sorts of things when I read this. You know, I thought of the, you know, the, the, the faddish and the trendy um, uh, zombie craze that's going on right now. You know, it's like over the past couple of years, you've had, uh, you know, certain monsters during certain years and certain decades being really popular. There was a resurgence in popularity of vampires, you know, about 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, back in the 80s, there was uh, a resurgence of, of, you know, the interest in werewolves. And right now, you know, zombies seem to be the craze. Well, zombies look like they're alive, but they're really dead, Right. That's what a zombie is. You know, it's just a it's a dead person reanimated and walking around. And it, and it says that this congregation of Sardis had the reputation of being alive but was dead. You know, sometimes I've seen like these little mechanical toys, maybe wind up mice um, uh, that cats play with. And, you know, at first, at first glance, it looks like, oh, my goodness, it's a it's a live mouse. And you want to jump on a table. But then. You know, you do a double take and you're like, oh, oh, wait a second, that's just a toy. It looks like it's alive, but it's really dead. It's an inanimate object. And if you've ever seen the comedy, uh, you know, Weekend at Bernie's, it's about this rich guy that dies. And to keep up the ruse, these two guys, you know, make him like a living puppet and make it look like he's alive. They're manipulating his limbs and they have glasses on him to uh, so people won't see that his eyes are shut. And they're, you know, tramping this dead body around and making people think that it's alive, but it's but Bernie's really dead. So the congregation of Sardis had a reputation of being alive, but is dead. Verse two, be watchful and strengthen what is left, which is going to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of God. So what was causing this death? Why did it look like they were alive, but yet they were dead? It looked like they were alive because they were keeping all the rituals and customs and traditions and the robotic, mechanic, ritualistic, outward things of religion and faith. It makes you look alive, but they weren't keeping the word of God. The word of God is life. Yeshua is the living word. John 1 talks about how Yeshua is the living word of God. And Yeshua said in other passages, I come that you might have life, and you might have it more abundantly. So he is the living manifestation of the written word of God. So if we're not walking in the footsteps of Yeshua, our Messiah, by walking and following in the word of God, we may look like we're alive because we're religious. But in reality, we are dead, and if we don't get back to the word of God and strengthen what little word of God we do keep, we're going to die. Uh, so it continues on. Remember them how you accepted and heard. Keep it and repent. So we need to keep the word of God and repent from not keeping the word of God. So don't be that type of person who has the reputation of being alive. You know, you're religious. You go to church or synagogue every time the doors are open. You know, you're, you're speaking Christianese, saying all the right words, doing all the right things. It's all outward, but inward, you're dead because you're not, you're not feasting on the word. You're not reading the word. You're not living the word. You're not practicing the word. You're not, you know, you may be talking the talk, but you're not walking the walk. And that's the difference. That's what it means to have the reputation of being alive, but you're really dead. So you don't want to be a zombie. You don't want to be this robot. You don't want to be something that looks alive but's really dead. So get back to the word today. Get back to the word this week and just feast upon it and grow on it and strengthen uh, that which you have so that you will truly be alive. You'll be alive by walking in the footsteps of Yeshua, our Messiah, by walking and following in the word of God. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Come check out The Weekly Way, your weekly devotional commentary on the Torah, Haftorah, and Brit Chadesha portions.